It's voting week here in DCU, and with a host of candidates to choose from, we're asking DCU students who's getting their vote. So I'm going to be voting for Evan. I went to his talk earlier and he was really interested and I really agree with his policies. He was also very funny as well, so I think I'm going to give him my vote. Uh, yeah, I'll be voting for uh, Olivia Ford just because she uh, she stands up for what she believes in like, and I really think that she'll make a difference. For Keir McBride because I feel like he's going to change a lot in terms of accommodation and diversity and he's really approachable and just hard working and stuff, so that's why I vote for him for welfare and equality. And I'm also voting for Fergal uh, for... SC president because I thought he had a lot of really good points and uh, in his video and stuff and his campaign was really good so yeah. Uh, so for the president I voted for Katie Faye, I uh, just liked the point she had in her manifesto, all she came up to us and she was well able to talk to us, I just liked the general air about her. I think I'm going to vote for Katie Faye, uh, she's a former pharmaceutical student and um, yeah I want the microwaves in college just so I can reheat pasta for that when I get in. So. Having spoken to many DCU students, it's clear that this is going to be a close call for the DCU presidency. Daniel Phelan and Joy Onoritu, reporting for the College View TV.